All right, good morning. You're watching News 9 at me, Deepak Bopana. And first up, it was a heart-wrenching scene in Sulikere village in the early hours of today. Little Timanna's body was extricated using the suction method by the district authorities. Now, following the extrication of the body, a post-mortem was conducted on the spot. Now, the body was then handed over to the devastated parents. Now, Timanna's body was laid to rest at around 2.30 in the morning. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by my colleague Arun Sundaram. Well, Arun, uh, quite heart wrenching scenes there in Sulikeri. This is the price that you pay for uh, negligence and uh, uh, complete uh, irresponsible behavior. And uh, we have had to see a six year old child's uh, life getting uh, snuffed out for uh, some kind of a behavior which could have. Uh, had some precautionary steps been taken, this would have been totally avoidable. But uh, hopefully this would perhaps be the last of such uh, incidents that uh, the state would report because uh, now we have strict guidelines and the most important thing on the part of the district administration as well as the officials at the taluk level is to ensure the complete 100% enforcement of these guidelines because the rule is very clear. If it is a disused or... Uh, um, unused door well that needs to be secured by uh, covering it properly so that uh, anyone, irrespective of the age, it could be a child, it could be an aged person, anyone who uh, could have this probability of slipping and falling into it is prevented from doing so. So, clearly, this is a very important uh, message that uh, this particular incident uh, sends out. This is a very uh, heavy price that we are paying as a society for an irresponsible and uh, improper behaviour being displayed by some elements uh, they got. Well, Arun, uh, can we expect the government here to step in, uh, pay certain kind of compensation? Of course, it cannot be replaced by Little Timanna's life, but as a, a certain kind of relief, of course, a lot of crops have been damaged, the land has been uh, dug. Now, could we expect any kind of compensation coming from the government? Well, uh, the government has already, if you're talking about cash compensation, the government has already agreed to it and they have made an announcement to the decision that the SR Patel has promised uh, monetary compensation. But uh, apart from that, there are other issues also because remember, the same minister has gone on record to say that uh, they will ensure that the um, rights and liberties and uh, the uh, responsibility that he is carrying out as a uh, farmer are not by any way disturbed. So probably uh, there could be some kind of a help uh, with the district administration to uh, extend to ensure that uh, whatever mud uh, has been excavated is put back and uh, it is status quo as far as uh, element of uh, activities farm is concerned. But more importantly, the issue is that um, He's lost his child and uh, society has had to pay a very heavy price for an irresponsible behavior by none of them, the father himself. Uh, well, Arun, uh, what step can the government take after this to prevent uh, such things from happening? Of course, we've had the BBMP and the district administration officials going on to make sure that these kind of bore wells don't uh, prop up or are not left unattended. Now, can we see the state government taking some hard-hitting measures to ensure this scene does not repeat itself? Uh, well, uh, as far as the government is concerned, they have issued guidelines and uh, the guidelines need to be enforced. So you cannot have uh, exceptions where, you know, some people try to uh, curry favor by uh, doing transactions under the table and ensuring that uh, the disused door will continue to be left open posing a great threat to children and others who could fall into it and they uh, probably perish. But um, apart from that, there is a necessity to be uh, socially more responsible
reasonable. There is a responsibility on the part of each of us to behave in a manner which is not uh, uh, going to cause harm to larger sections of society. This is, if you look at it very objectively, this is a move which could have been done. Remember, Animal Tarity himself has gone and reported that they said they had sunk three bore wells and two of them were actually malfunctioning and uh, they had uh, closed down the two. Uh, and probably because of a uh, little bit of uh, marshy soil available, this one has been left open. But he has had to pay a heavy price. So clearly, uh, there is a, uh, a need to recognize the fact that each of us, the way we behave, has a probable uh, impact on the larger sections of society, and therefore we need to behave in a very responsible manner. Hey, Ranon, thank you for all that information. Well, indeed. Heart-wrenching scenes in her in Sulikeri in Bagal court. Little Timarna's body was finally extricated from the bore well using the suction method. And about 2.30 a.m. he was laid to rest. His parents, of course, a devastated lot, but a lot to learn for the people and, of course, the government to ensure that this scene does not repeat itself. Moving on, KPSC aspirants continue with their protest late in the night at Freedom Park and JDS Supremo Deve Gowda pays a visit to the aggrieved aspirants. Now, even Police Commissioner Amin Reddy did pay a visit late in the night to check law and order at the Freedom Park. Meanwhile, the aspirants have decided that they will not budge until the government revokes its decision on the KPSC issue. So... The aspirants, the case aspirants are making sure that they do not budge into uh, the pressure from the government. They're not going to let any other method come in between. They do want, uh, they do not want to write their exams again. They want uh, their rightfully deserved posts. That's what they claim. The protests have been going on for over 23 days now. Uh, yesterday we did see various organizations coming together in support of these protesters at the Freedom Park, including uh, the JDS, of course, uh, did come in support. Dev Kumar Swami has uh, uh, declared that he will support uh, the KS candidates. Now, Deve Gowda yesterday making his way there. You also see activists from the Karnataka Rakshana Vedike. There are other NGOs and uh, organizations who have come to the aid of these protesters. These protesters have one demand in mind. They want Sidramaya to come there and, uh, and speak to them and address them and hear out their cries about how hard it is to actually write a KS entrance exam, go through the entire process of the KPSC exams and then not having a seat available. Now, of course, this is a 2011 batch which wrote their exams and a few students did indulge in malpractice allegedly and due to which the entire batch of students were not given any kind of candidatures. Deve Gauda there on your screens shedding tears for these KS candidates. Now it's been quite some time through rain, through the scorching sun. They have been sitting in Freedom Park protesting day in and day out. As you see the police commissioner of the city also paying a visit there to ensure that the law and order is maintained. Now this place of course has been heavily guarded. It's a fortress created around these protesters because a few days back we did see a few protesters trying to set themselves ablaze by smearing petrol on themselves. Now after this uh, there is heavy checking at each and every gate ensuring that these protesters do not indulge in any kind of activity which might pose a threat. <laughs> Well, moving on, be it the BBMP, BWSSB or even BESCOM authorities ignoring complaints of agreed residents is nothing new. Now, unfortunately, a resident of a small locality in Whitefield fears that they will have to pay for the lackadaisical attitude of BESCOM with their lives. Take a look.
These residents have seen many animals die at this unintended death trap set up by KB authorities. Well, yet another cow was electrocuted here. As the residents of Vijayanagar and Whitefield gathered around, they raised a question. What if it was one of their children? The residents have stated that there's a school nearby from where kids come to play in the area. The live transformer had been installed years ago and no barrier has been constructed around it. The reason animals get electrocuted here is because of the garbage strewn near the transformer. Cows come looking for food but end up losing their lives. Predictably, this is not the first time an incident like this has occurred in the area. One year back, there was a fire in the area. 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 The concerned KB authorities have clearly ignored the residents' complaints. They have agreed to construct a fence around the transformer. Residents have threatened to protest at the KB office if no action is taken in the next 15 days. Maltesh, News 9, Bengaluru. And coffee growers in Hassan are facing huge losses after heavy rains. Now, to add to their misery, their estates also have intruders. Take a look at the sorry plight of the coffee growers in this district. Uprooted trees, fallen coffee and pepper seeds flooded estates. This is the aftermath of the rain in Hassan district. Continuous rainfall has affected coffee plantations causing huge losses to coffee growers. June July coffee Heavy winds have uprooted trees. The coffee growers' misery has also been compounded with wild elephants trespassing their estates and destroying crops. The coffee growers complain that the officials are least concerned about them. They fear that they will have no yield this year if heavy rains continue. Dasharat Sabur, News 9, Hassan.